This is Module 5, Lesson 6. Find the total volume of solid figures composed of two non-overlapping rectangular prisms. Here we have two rectangular prisms. A is 3 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. Its volume is 12 cubic centimeters. B is 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. Its volume is 8 cubic centimeters. If we want to keep the original dimensions, we want to find a way to combine these two structures and find the volume of our new structure. In this picture, we've taken structure B and placed it on top of structure A. There are several ways we could find the volume. We could count all the blocks, or we knew that there were 12 in one structure and 8 in the other. We can add them together to get 20. So we notice that the volume did not change. We had 12 and 8 to begin with. We now have 12 and 8. So the total volume of the two structures is 20, just as the separate structures had 8 and 12. You put them together, it's 20. Let's determine the volume of this rectangular prism. We have 3 meters by 2 meters by 7 meters. 3 times 2 would be 6, and 6 times 7 would be 42. So this is 42 meters cubed. I want you to imagine another prism identical to this one. If we glued them together to make a bigger prism, how would we find that volume? We already know the volume of the first one. We know it is 42 cubic meters. We could just add another 42 cubic meters to that, and we know that our new volume would be 84 cubic meters. We could have done 42 times 2, but we know if we have two that are exactly the same, that would double the volume. Looking at this next structure, we can see that this is slightly different. We have two boxes, one smaller one on top of a larger one. There are a lot of markings on this figure, so we need to be careful that we use the right ones when we find the volume. Let's find the volume of the bottom box. The bottom box has a length of 6, a width of 5, and a height of 4. 6 times 5 is 30, and 30 times 4 is 120. So the bottom box has a volume of 120 cubic inches. When we look at the box on the top, we can see that its length is 3, and we know its height is 2, but it doesn't tell us what the width is. The reason it doesn't tell us what the width is, is it's already shown down below. The boxes have the same width. So to find the volume of the top little box, we multiply 3 times 5 times 2. We know that 3 times 5 is 15, times 2 is 30. So the volume of the top little box is 30 cubic inches. If we want the total volume, we add those together. We get 150 cubic inches for the whole structure. If we want to compare this structure to the last one, we see that there are two different size boxes again. There's a small one on top of a large one. But this time there's a bracket to show the height of both boxes. If we look at that top box, there's no length or width or height measurement on it. So how are we going to tell the dimensions of the top box? Well, we can tell the length of the top box by looking at the 6 meters along the bottom. The other box has 4 meters sticking out of the box. This means that the box must be 2 meters long. The length is 6 minus 4, and that's 2. The width is easy. It's the same as the bottom box. So that's 2. The height of, the, of both boxes is 4 meters. If the bottom box is 2 meters, then the top must also be 2. So the height of the box must be 2 meters. The volume of the top box then, 2 times 2 times 2 meters equals 8 cubic 
meters. The volume of the bottom box would be 6 times 2 times 2. So the volume of the bottom box is 24 cubic meters. When we add those together, we get a total of 32 cubic meters for the whole structure. This problem says two rectangular prisms have a combined volume of 135 cubic centimeters. Prism A has double the volume of prism B. A, what is the volume of each prism? B, if one face of prism A has an area of 10 square meters, what is its height? Let's use a tape diagram to help us solve this. We know that we have prisms A and B, and we know that A has double the volume that B has. And we know that all together, the volume is 135. Using what we remember about tape diagrams, we know that three units equal 135. One unit would equal 135 divided by 3, or 45. So we know that prism B has a volume of 45, and we know that prism A has a volume that's 2 times 45, or 90. Question B said if one face of prism A has an area of 10 square meters, what is its height? We know that the area of one face is 10. We know the volume is 90. So we know that 10 times something has to equal 90 because length times width times height equals volume. Volume is 90. We have, let's say, the length times the width. We need to determine the height. So 90 would equal 10 times something. We have to do 90 divided by 10 to find that missing dimension. 90 divided by 10 would be 9, so prism A is 9 meters high.